here we are solving a problem that is relevant to magnetic moment. The problem is when a bar magnet, this, is converted into a arc shape like this. What will be its new magnetic moment is? So first of all, what's the magnetic moment? If this is a north pole, this is the south pole. Distance between them is called length of the bar magnet. Each pole will have a strength, pole strength, M and M. Then the magnetic moment of the bar magnet, capital M can be expressed as a product of pole strength and the length of the magnet, that is for this bar magnet. If that is the case, what happens to the bar magnet? When it is bent like this is the question that we need to answer. So one thing that we can understand clearly is even when you bent it, its pole strength remains the same. But the distance between the poles, that is North Pole and South Pole, is no more 2L, it is different. We can call it like a X. If I once know that X, or you call it like 2X, whatever it is, 2X. Then I'll be knowing the magnetic moment. So my problem is now to find 2x or x, right? Well, sorry. Let's now go to that problem, right? So now a bar magnet is taken. It was bent like an arc, like this. This is the north pole. This is the south pole. This distance is known for me, 2L. That is the original length, the distance between the North Pole and South Pole. But the magnet is being bent, that is no more 2L, that is 2X. So let me call this part as X, this part as an X. This bar magnet, as it was converted into an arc, at the base of the arc, at the center of the arc, it makes an angle theta. So if I draw a perpendicular line from that, that theta can be divided as theta by 2 and theta by 2. So it is converted into an arc. That arc is having an unknown radius r. So what we can see little carefully if you observe, I can see a right angle triangle here. Yeah, that right angle triangle. So from that right angle triangle, I can write sin theta by 2, this is theta by 2, sin theta by 2 is opposite side by radius x by r. So x equal to r sin theta by 2. I want 2x, so that's value will be 2r sin theta by 2. But the problem is, I don't know this r also, r is our imaginary term, I don't know this r also. How do I find out that r? I know this total angle is theta. Angle is defined as always arc 2L by radius. That's our core definition of the angle. So now I know the R as 2L by theta. Let's put this R value here. So what happens to our 2X? It implies 2X is 2 in the place of this R. Substitute this value 2L by theta sin theta by 2. I got 2x. So what's the new magnetic moment is? Pole strength and the distance between the poles. Pole strength remains same as I said earlier. That is m. And I know the value of 2x already. So pole strength is m. In the place of 2x, substitute this value, whatever you have got. 2. 2l by theta sin theta by 2. So you know, small m into 2L is the original magnetic moment of the bar magnet, that is capital M. There is 2 sin theta by 2 by theta is there. This is the new magnetic moment when you convert the bar magnet into a shape, arc shape. So, but be careful that this theta, as you are solving the problem in SI system, shall be always expressed in radian. So, for example, I just try a small problem, right? If somebody say, if magnet is bent 
like a semi circle what i mean by semi circle was like a half circle such that the angle that it makes here is something the angle that it makes here is 180 degree right it was converted into semi circle now what happens is the value of that theta is pi and here that angle is divided as total theta this is theta by 2 so this substitute in this formula m dash will be 2m sin theta by 2 that theta is 180 by 2 by theta be careful this theta has to be written in radians as it is semicircle angle is pi that is 2m sin 90 by pi i know sin 90 value already as 1 so 2m by pi is our answer i can even further simplify as 2m by pi as 22 by 7 that is 7m by 11 this kind of questions were asked in NEET examination and IITJ so many times so it's a simple question that you just need to remember a concept that when you bend a magnet the pole strength remains the same but the distance between the poles is get affected we just need to find out how that is affected and solve like a problem that's it thank you for watching